And then how many people um, spent a graduate degree with him? So thank you very much for coming, Mary. Well, I talked Harold into doing this special addition to the buffet because my husband and I went out to Portland, Oregon this fall, and I went to a restaurant where I had a dahlia salad. And they took field greens and they took very thin, paper thin slices of fresh dahlia tubers mixed in. And then they fried some of the tubers and put them on top of the salad. It was very tasty. To me, it seemed that those thin slices of fresh tuber just took on whatever the flavor of the dressing was. So when I came back, I said, Harold, let's do something special for your birthday party. I know you grow dahlias. So a couple weeks ago, a big curver with three huge, huge hunking root systems of tubers showed up at our back door. And I have since read that the Mayans grew dahlias, that are native, of course, to um, Central America, as a major starch source. But after cleaning them and getting them ready to bring to the chef here, I decided that the Mayans probably had slaves that cleaned <laughs> the tubers. And so, if you're familiar with the dahlia flowers, the dahlia flowers are also edible. And, and in the, in the, what I've been reading is that there can be a lot of variation in flavor in the tubers depending on the species and the variety, but that all of the dahlia tubers are edible. So when you next plant your dahlias, think about digging them up in the fall and instead of trying to overwinter them, make yourself a nice fall treat. 